Here we're going to be going through an example here to determine the ending inventory value in terms of a dollar value LIFO inventory. Uh, LIFO stands for last in first out inventory and what we're going to be uh, doing is using a price index to determine this dollar value LIFO inventory amount here. And what we're going to be doing again is to develop an internal price index here and we're going to go through that here based on our base year costs here and our current year costs. So we can determine uh, based on our current costs and our base year cost of this ending inventory we're going to develop our price index and then once we have that price index we can apply it here to our inventory amounts here to determine the ending inventory dollar value LIFO amount of this inventory. So first for our, our uh, for our base year inventory here, our base year cost. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have this ending inventory here, 1231X1. We have two items. Item A here, a uh, quantity of 83,000, and item B, a quantity of 6,000 on our ending inventory. So to determine the base year cost here, uh, we have to know what this base year price is here. And we're going to go up and look at that here. This And that's in this example, it's based on the um, base year inventory at 11x1 here, January 1st of this uh, year here. And what we have here is we had a quantity of uh, 1,000 of item A for $12. This is the uh, base year cost here, this $12 here for item A, and also a $40 price or unit price here for item B here and you can see we had some uh, quantities here of a thousand for item A uh, total a price cost here of twelve thousand and for item B we had a quantity of two thousand at a price here of forty dollars each for a total quantity of eighty thousand here so our base year cost here is ninety two thousand dollars we're going to be using this base year cost here uh, based on the January 1st date here later on but going back here to determine the base year for our ending inventory well we have item A here quantity of 3,000 are ending inventory at that base year uh, price here that we looked at above here at $12 each total cost is 36,000 and then for item B here we have 6,000 in ending inventory at our base year cost that we looked at looked at above here for $40 each for a total amount here of $240,000 so our total base year cost here for ending inventory is $276,000 now we have to go and we have to determine what our current year or our current price year-end inventory is again for 1231x1 and we have to determine what our current year costs are so in this case we have to go and we have to use the most recent or actual purchases here to determine the current year cost or the current price here so uh, in this case for item A we had a purchase here on 12.1 uh, quantity of 4,000 for a current price here of $14 each. Item B, we had two purchases here, one on $12.15 for a, 5, 000, a quantity of $5,000 at $50 each here, and then a second uh, purchase here of vitamin e, of B here on 12.16 X1 here, a quantity of $1,000 at $44 each. So for our current year uh, cost here, item A, we have to account for again this ending inventory, A of 3,000, B here of 6,000 units. So A, we have, can take uh, 3,000 units here at the price of $14 each. That's this current price, the last current or the recent purchase here $14 each. So that represents our current price, 3000 at $14 each, total cost here $42,000. Now for B here, uh, we have a total of 6,000 units that we have to account for. And it just happens to be that 5,000 here comes from this uh, current price here of uh, $50 each. So 5,000 at $50 each gives us 250,000 here. And then uh, we had one more purchase here or which adds up the 5,000 plus the 1,000 adds up to 6,000 that we have to account for so uh, that 1,000 here was priced at $44 each so on 12.16 we had purchased those 1,000 here at $44 each so that's the cost that would use the most recent purchase here uh, so 1,000 at $44 each that gives us $44,000 so summing our amounts here uh, 42,000 plus 250, 250,000 plus 44,000 gives us a current year cost here of 336 thousand dollars. Now this current year cost here again is based on the most recent or the latest purchases we have here. Now to uh, calculate our price index. Well it's pretty simple here. We just take our ending inventory at the current cost here three hundred and thirty six thousand dollars. That was that current year cost here that we had for three hundred and thirty six thousand and then we divide it by the ending inventory at the base year cost here. Now remember 
we calculated that base year cost here to be $276,000. So dividing here to $276,000 into our $336,000, we come with up with a price index of 122%. So this is what we're going to be using here, this 122% to develop our ending inventory dollar value LIFO amount here. So let's just look here. Ending inventory, that's at 1231x1, and we have to convert that here to the base year prices here. So we take the $336,000, our current year cost here, the $336,000, and we divide it here by our price index rate our price index of 122 percent that we developed here or calculated so dividing that 1.22 into 336,000 we're going to come up with a value here of 275,490 409 dollars now that's our ending inventory here at 1231 x1 at the base year prices we converted that over here now we have to look at our base layer at the begin our beginning inventory on 11 x1 that was the ninety-two thousand dollars that we calculated here. So let's go back and look at it. So on our base year inventory on one one X one, we calculated that. Remember that one thousand units here of A at twelve dollars each for twelve thousand, and then two thousand here of unit B at forty dollars each uh, at for eighty thousand here. So our total cost here was ninety-two thousand. Now that was our base year cost here on one one X one. So here we take that layer of inventory here of ninety-two thousand dollars. We subtract it here from the 275409 and we get the incremental base year dollars here. Just remember that here at $183,409. Now we take this current price index here uh, we had here of uh, 122% or and we take that times the $183,409 here, 1.22 times that. We come up with the incremental current dollar amount here of $223,760. Now we have to take this base year, a uh, base layer beginning inventory of 11x1, that was that $92,000 amount. We would add, be adding that back here to the incremental in uh, current dollars here of $223,760. So adding that 92000 to that amount here, we come up with the ending inventory dollar value of a LIFO basis here of $315,760. So all I wanted to do is go through this example here. So you've seen how to go out and develop here or calculate a price index here uh, using the ending inventory values here at the base year cost and then our ending inventory values here at the current year cost or the current prices here and based on this price index that we developed we were able to go and we calculated our ending inventory dollars based on a dollar value LIFO amount here.